On episode 229 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at the Netflix movie Hustle. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just watched Hustle on Netflix. What do you give this one, April? You know, I'm going to give it kind of a, a little bit above average. So that would be about, what, three, three and a quarter? Three and a quarter. That's a new one. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a sucker for sports movies. I oh, love I sports movies. So for me, this was, a, I'm going to go up you a little bit better. I'm going to give this a three and a half stars. All right. Since this was a Netflix movie, we don't have any trailers to talk about. So you want to give us the storyline, April? Yes. It's basically about a veteran basketball scout. He discovers a phenomenal street ball player while in Spain, and he sees the prospect as his opportunity to get back into the NBA. And it's 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 a great story about a coach and a player. Okay, this was directed by Jeremiah Zagger. He's known for We Are the Animals and various TV documentaries and short films. Uh, writers Taylor Materni. He's known for uh, well, it's his first feature writing credit and will fetters which everyone knows he's known for a star is born remember me and the lucky one this is a great cast um it had adam sandler queen latifah wancho hernan gomez ben foster kenny smith anthony edwards robert duvall briefly uh jordan hall and maria boto in a whole host of NBA players. There's Absolutely. a lot of uh, Dr. J's in here, and right. there's a lot of uh, different And there's a lot guys. of good basketball. Oh, yeah. I love basketball. So Okay, runtime, 117 minutes. It's rated R for language. Why don't we dive straight into this one? Okay. Um, let's talk about the... There were a lot of normal um, sports movie cliches okay uh you work hard your dreams will come true the good guys always win and redemption which yeah, you and i a, talked about yeah there's definitely a redemption for for adam sandler's character most definitely and i will tell you i absolutely love the relationship between the coach and the player it was the best part of the movie you know if you've listened to our podcast for any amount of time you know we've listened to and and reviewed lots of sports movies both April and I are real suckers for sports movies. We we yeah. love them because there's something about the triumph that usually comes across in, in the human spirit. And this movie was full of this. I mean, we, we can talk about the acting and the characters. And you know what? The acting was just okay. I mean, mm-hmm. for, in my opinion, I love Adam Sandler movies, but Adam Sandler plays Adam Sandler in every movie. Right. And for the most part, he played Adam Sandler in but this the, movie. the player, Bo, and the, the character, Bo, and, and the coach, Stanley, that, that was the best. Yes, absolutely. The way they dealt with each other was priceless. All right, let's talk about direction. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know, not much here. Not there, There's really not much here. It was a movie about basketball and sports. I don't, you but know. It did move along pretty quickly. Well, you're going jumping all the way down I the am, pace there. Okay. But I appreciated it. <laughs> score, you know, I, I honestly I don't I, remember the score I here. I remember a little bit. I yeah. think it was okay. All right, yeah. I, I I trust you on that one. All right. The cinematography, uh, once again, it was Fine. a basketball sports movie. There's really mm-hmm. not much in this the, in that. And then that goes into where we start talking about production and special effects. Well, the basketball scenes were phenomenal. I yeah. mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I loved them at all the levels. That you had the stars, you get to watch um, the veteran star basketball players. We got to see on the court, you know that where they were going against oh, each yeah. other. But I I enjoyed all of it, even well, the young players. Well, what I liked is they used real NBA players for yes. this movie. Good point. And and so the basketball scenes. There's a lot of times in sports movies where the sports kind of look 
a little mm-hmm. fake and pushed. Uh, the 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 one we just watched recently and reviewed the football one about uh, uh, Kurt yep. Warner. Some of those sports scenes yep. were kind of, mm, but, it, they, but they did a good job. They did a really good and job. And I forgot in this to movie. mention Queen Latifah. It's always good to see her. Oh yeah. What was interesting about Queen Latifah's role in this? She wasn't a top character in in the movie. She was a secondary character, and I like seeing that about her. Well, I was just so glad to see her in it. You know, and frankly, the interracial. I loved it. I mean, <laughs> their daughter, her, Adam Sandler. It was interesting to see the two of them together. Right. I enjoyed it. Editing. Well, it's fine. Yeah, it was um, fine. Not, nothing spectacular. And again, appreciate the pace because it kept moving. I think there was only one time it slowed. Well, you know, this was this movie was a two-hour movie. It was just shy. Three it minutes shy of two hours. No, I... I <laughs> I was just about to say, for a two-hour movie, I thought it was pretty... It went quickly. Uh, All right. Dialogue. Well, this is kind of, you know, one of these places where it shined. And this wasn't... Even... It it was an Adam Sandler movie, but it wasn't a comedy. Right. But... Of course, there were some pretty good one-liners put in there for him to to do. I mean, he's funny. And watching him struggle, listen to me, millions of people struggle with the same theme in his job, right? Where he wanted and wanted to move up. And it took a long, long time because he had to overcome something he did in his past, Right. right? But guess what? With the right mentorship and the belief in yourself, however you go about it, you can do it. And I like I like this for America to see right now. I do. Because it's people are still out there. They 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 want to make things happen for themselves. I agree. Well well put. Well put. Um the dialogue, too, though, it was also full of, you know, sports cliches and, and the typical sports movie tropes and everything. But, hey, once again, I'm a sucker for all that stuff. Right. And then we go down to the story. And and, and the good news about Stanley. Yeah. The, the movie was about Stanley. Yeah. Stanley was the protagonist, not Bo. Um, right. Bo was, right. the, was, the, was more of the um, environment that yeah. Stanley was but trying Stanley to Yeah, but Stanley did move forward. And it was uh, nice to watch that. I mean, you always right. talk about the protagonist. Right, exactly. And, you know, he grew in this movie. And, he and, did. And, he and did. as in most sports movies, the protagonist always wins. So, Right, right. And we enjoyed it. We watched it, you know, streamed it, and we enjoyed it. And I remember we were excited to see it. Yeah, we were. Absolutely. So that is um, Hustle on Netflix. I give this movie three and a half stars, and April gives it three and a quarter. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for all your support. And it, it, we are a slam in the middle of summer with so many movies. We are quickly getting ours done. We have seen some really good ones, and we've got to review them really quickly. Yeah, so in the next three episodes from us, you're going to get uh, Jurassic Park uh, World um, Dominion. You're going to get... Um, the Black Phone and I love, yeah. Jerry and Marge Go Large. Yeah, there's been a lot. There, I, I think I saw three excellent ones and one not so good one. So that's pretty <laughs> good for odds. We want to thank y'all so much. We hear from you all the time and we appreciate it so very much. And psst, quick spoiler alert, Black Phone. Awesome. Go yeah, see it while go it's see in the it. theater. We'll get back to you on that one, though. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking your time and listening to us. We really appreciate you. And if you haven't already done so, please go tell a friend about our podcast. We love you, man. (laughs) Thank you so much, everybody. Stay happy and healthy. See you at the movies.